to Paul with the check of our weather. Outside of Metro Nashville, there could be a little bit of fog that would slow you down this morning. Let's start with a view from our weather bug cameras. And one of the foggy spots this morning isn't our usual foggy spot in Carthage. It is from Bedford County. Bell Buckle, the web school, some fog in the trees there. Enough visibility reduction to slow you down just a little bit as you're heading out the door. And we're seeing some hints of fog over the Tennessee River here as well from the city of Clifton in Wayne County. That's been showing up on the fog tracker too as we've been checking that throughout the morning. Fog free around Metro Nashville. Sky is brightening. In fact, the sun is coming up right as we speak. And it's going to warm us up right now from that last camera perspective. The temperature is 51 degrees. The dew point is around 50, so those numbers close together. That's when the fog has a chance to develop. Winds very light, so not enough to stir the atmosphere around and keep that fog from developing entirely. But again, we are fog free right now in Nashville itself. Looking at the forewarned live radar. Well, there's nothing here, but look up to our north. That rain keeps getting closer and closer every time we check this map, and it's going to be diving down into our counties in southern Kentucky already by mid morning with that rain spreading southward, even a few thunderstorms as we head through the afternoon. In the meantime, it's a cool start out there this morning. Average low temperature is 53 degrees. We're starting off five degrees below that in Nashville, and we're one of the warmer spots on the map. 43 degrees right now in Tullahoma, 45 in McMinnville, 50 degrees in Murray, Kentucky. A little cloud cover is approaching us from that system off to our north. It's going to keep the cool air in place for the next couple of days. By midday, temperatures are going to be up to around 70 degrees, but the showers are going to be moving into Metro Nashville right around that point with off and on showers and a few thunder storms throughout the afternoon, gradually working the way farther to the south. Once the rain starts, temperatures drop back down into the 60s. It's not a guarantee of rain across the mid state today, but it's more likely than not you're going to pick up at least some measurable rain in your backyard, and there could be a few small hailstones mixed in as well. Not because the storms are really going to be all that violent, but it's because there's so much cold air farther up in the atmosphere. So usually those small hailstones develop in thunderstorms, but they melt before they hit the ground. You just get that splat for some big raindrops that are just melted hailstones. Well, today that cool air, cold air above our heads is going to be thick enough that the hailstones aren't going to have a chance to melt before they hit the ground. Let's check out Futurecast and show you what we're talking about in terms of timing. There's that rain knocking on the doorstep of Nashville by noon. Strongest storms would be around mid afternoon, mainly south of Interstate 40, but you'll hear some rumbles of thunder here and there. I don't anticipate any severe thunderstorm warnings out of this activity. The hail should be small enough that it won't, won't prompt any of those severe thunderstorm warnings, but you don't want to be out in it staying when it hits you. We're talking about a decrease in cloud cover briefly, but the clouds kind of fill back in tomorrow with a chance for a few showers in eastern middle Tennessee, a day kind of like yesterday with a lot of clouds, but actually very few showers. I think Futurecast is overdoing the green on the map a little bit with that radar simulation for tomorrow and tomorrow night. We'll get rid of the clouds as we head into tomorrow night and early Friday and the weekend, the whole weather pattern is going to flip around. We're going to see warmer than normal temperatures as the jet stream gets pushed way up to our north. How warm? Really warm. Mid 80s for Mother's Day weekend. Very slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm Saturday evening and again Sunday and Monday, but 20% chance of rain means an 80% chance of staying dry. We'll bump that up to close to a 50 50 chance of rain by the middle of next week. I like that better the way you said that 80% chance. Yeah, <laughs> try to be optimistic. Yeah, glass half full. There you go. 551.